Hi, I'm Andy. Welcome or welcome back. I'm really happy that you're here. Today I'm bringing you my July update for my project three uses, otherwise known as it's on the chopping block. I take a product, I use it three times to see if I like it, see if I want to keep it. Maybe it's something that's been hanging out unused for a year, two years, three years, whatever. I want to see if it still needs a place in my collection. I do this project with a few friends, Cece from Painting for Goals, Laura from Laura the Bargain Hunter, and Ash from Makeup in Chaos. We all have very busy lives. Uh, we don't always upload the same time at the same day, but make sure you go check out their projects as well. I will have all of them linked in the description box below. We all decided to take a break last month. Life was too busy. And so these are all carried, these products are all carried over from May. So let's go ahead and get started. One, two. These are in no particular order. This is the ColourPop Glowing Lip. It is in the shade Chill, Chill, Chill. Uh, it is more of a balm than a lipstick, but it is red. That is what it looks like. And I have not used this one time. In two months, I haven't used it one time. So that is actually going to carry over until next month. I also have from Copacetic Cosmetics, this is called Tender and Lovely. This is a lip gloss. And here is what it looks like. It's very pretty, but it is just not something that I normally wear. I did wear it the three times and I am going to declutter it. I just don't like gloss, you guys. And if it's a gloss that I, I really don't like, I'm not keeping it. I have lipsticks this color. I can wear lipstick. I can wear a lip oil over it. It's fine. But I'm going to declutter that. Next up was the e.l.f. Bite Size Palette in Berry Bad. I did not use this either. I have not used this at all. So this is also going to carry over into the next month. It's such a pretty color story and I love this color story, but yeah, I haven't used it. I've been concentrating on other palettes, so I have not used that. Next up from Manicadar Beauty, this is kind of a blush lighter highlighter. What does it say it is? Blossom Floral Compact. That's all it says. I got this in a slate glam, slate glam box, and this is what it looks like. And I honestly brought this in thinking that it was just going to get decluttered because it's too glowy for a blush, um, but it's not, it's too dark for a highlighter. Can I tell you guys, I've used this like almost 20 times. I just keep using it. I love it. It's so pretty. So for warm looks, when I do a warm look, I will use this uh, as a blush lighter and it is beautiful. I don't even have to wear highlighter with it, but it's not, you know, um, boom in your face too glowy or anything like that. It's just really pretty. I don't know how it's going to swatch because there's not a whole lot of color to it, but it's so pretty. So yes, I'm keeping this. This was a very pleasant surprise, extremely pleasant surprise. And then lastly, I had the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette. This palette has not been used for at least two years. It is so pretty. That is what it looks like. Most shades are untouched and again, did not use it at all. This is a very, to me, when I look at it, I think winter and I'm not inspired to use it, but then like looking at these, these two shades here, they're beautiful. I don't know why I haven't used it, but it is carrying over until next month. So if you're keeping track, um, I'm keeping this, I'm decluttering this. Both of these were used three times. Rolling over is the e.l.f. Very Bad Bite Size Palette. The ColourPop Glowing Lip in Chill, Chill, Chill. This is part of the Muppets collab. And the Too Faced Pretty Rich Palette is also rolling over until next month. So since I'm rolling two things out, I'm going to roll two things in. These two things are recent additions to my collection. The first is the NYX Jumbo Pencil. This is for your face. It says multi-use face stick. 
I recently got this in a gift with purchase from Ulta. So I didn't choose it. It just came to me. And I thought it was an eyeshadow stick and it isn't. It's a face stick and it's really pretty. That is what it looks like. But I'm not going to use this as a highlighter because it's a little too dark for that. I don't think I would use it as a blush lighter. So, and I'm not sure I would use it as an eyeshadow. So maybe a lip color, I don't know. But we're gonna find out because I'm gonna put this in for three uses. And then the second thing I'm going to put in is the Bell and Argent. This is an eyeshadow stick. You know, I wanna be an eyeshadow stick person. The one and done type thing, I see people use eyeshadow sticks. They look lovely. I just don't, and I don't know why that is. I don't, here, okay, here's the deal. Full transparency, I don't know how to use them. Like, do you just draw them on there and then blend them out? That's what I've seen people do. I've never done, I've, I've just not, I'm a powder eyeshadow girl. So, I mean, it's really pretty. You guys, look at that, that's gorge. And it's just kind of a deluxe sample size. I think I got it in an Ipsy or something back, or you know, when I used to get Ipsy. But, I mean, it's really pretty. So I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn how to use a shadow stick because I do have several shadow sticks and uh, I really wanna know how to use them. Otherwise, why have them? So that's it. That is my update for July, June and July, I guess. Don't forget to go check out Ash and Cece and Laura. Like I said, I don't know when Cece and Laura are going to upload, but they will have a video up this month. So go check them out. Don't forget. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. And until next time, everyone have a great day and we'll Stick. see you later. And it is in the shade Blueberry Muffin. I recently got this. 